Mikey, could you just maybe start with your overall thoughts on today's game and the team's performance? Um, I think that we're going to learn from this game, and I think it's been a little bit of a theme where we're struggling to start our game strong, and today we got punished. So um, we were able to fight back and showed a lot of character in getting result from the game. But bottom line, we need to start games better, and we know that. And I think that's going to be a real focal point going forward as we make this playoff push. Um, but once we settle in, we show that we can play, and we can be confident on the ball, but we just have to do that from the first minute. Go to Julia Poe. Maggie, thank you so much for the time and congrats on the point tonight. Um, like you mentioned, a little bit of a slow start again. Just in conversations with your teammates with Becky, what are you kind of seeing as maybe the root cause of some of those slower starts? It's hard to pinpoint exactly what it is, but I think um, we just need to be confident from the first minute, and I think it takes us a little bit of time to build that confidence through the game. But if we can just set each other up for success from our first touch, from our first pass, um, we could build confidence right away. Um, and if we can just complete our first action, whether that's a tackle, a pass, um, a decision on the ball, whatever it is, just doing that um, from the beginning and getting everyone involved quickly gets our feet under us for the game. And then um, we can settle in from there. Houston has a really difficult matchup on that front line just with the players that they have available there, but it seemed like you guys were able to kind of start cutting them off, uh, especially in the second half. What was maybe the in-game adjustment um, that, was, that you guys were able to use to start winning, especially through the midfield there? Yeah, they did a good job, I thought, of rotating and um, causing us some problems with Rachel popping in as kind of a false nine into that half space. So I think it was just better communication and awareness from us um, of shifting and covering a little bit better. So we're able to read some of those passes um, and make them a little bit more difficult for them to combine. And then when our back line's able to be aggressive and press um, from the back, we can double down um, from in front when the ball gets played in. So I think um, just the more we can communicate and work together um, in reading those balls and passes, that helps us be more successful. It's been notable since Becky arrived that there's been a, a bigger diversity of players scoring just in terms of it's not just Sydney, you know, Jody's getting on the ball, Taylor's right, um, other players have been scoring. What do you think it is about just kind of the way that this offense is working that is allowing more players to get on the ball and, and take those shots? I think it's just all about sharing the ball. Um, right now, the way we talk in training and the way we're trying to play is just give the ball and trust that you're going to give it back. Um, we don't need one person staying on the ball for extended periods of time, right? Like the more we can share the ball, move off it, and then be able to get it back, the more players you're getting involved, the more you're going to want to work off the ball because you know that there's a chance that you're going to get the ball back. So I think it's just a domino effect from that mentality. Um, and the result is what you're seeing, just more people involved in um, our success attackingly. Uh, howdy, Maggie. Uh, congrats on the draw. And, uh, in the first half, uh, you and Erica were creating a lot of place in transition. Uh, from your perspective, uh, what can we do better, especially against a tough team like Louisville coming up? Do better in what aspect? In transition? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, OK. Um, you know, I think we talk about getting numbers beyond the ball when we are going forward. So I think we can continue to work on that. Um, and also just comes down to decision making that final pass. I think we're still trying to get right. Um, the ideas are there, but I think it's just execution and realizing if you know that penetrating pass is on. But sometimes it's not going to be. And then that's when we need to decide to just keep it, have some time on the ball in there um, defensive third where we can, you know, cause them problems and make them defend. Um, so it's just making a little bit better decisions and execution in that final area. All right, Maggie, that's all we have for you tonight. Right. Thanks so much for the time. Thank you. Thank you to our media members for joining us. And we'll speak to you next.